Over the last year, many campaigns all around the country have relied heavily on the Internet in an effort to help voters decide which candidates to support on Election Day. We've all seen their ads on television and have heard them on the radio. But there's also another place with plenty of campaign messages. And that's the Internet, which has quickly become a successful marketing tool for many of the candidates. Facebook and Twitter are huge. I think everyone's uh, catching on to these. I mean, at first it was a lot of younger people that had these social networks, but now I think it, it's broadening to the rest of the population. From your desktop to your laptop to your cell phone, candidates are connecting with voters like never before. I, I believe that social media has helped the election a lot so far because it's giving you an opportunity to really get to see and know what the candidates are up to. Some say social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter help make candidates more accessible and keeps them accountable. There's always somebody there recording them and so they know that they have to stick to what they said because there's always the chance that someone's going to pull up that video that they recorded on their phone and say this is what you said and you know we expect that. Of course phone banking and door-to-door -door campaigning still exist but nothing compares to the quickness of the internet. It's just so easy for people to know what you're doing and what you're what you're getting into. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, and, and from a campaign standpoint it's, it's amazing. It's free, um, easy to use, and uh, uh, never before have we been able to, to communicate with so many people in such a short amount of time. And many online users say social media is also helping them get more involved. This last legislative session in Santa Fe, um, there was a, a representative who passed uh, a tax bill, an emergency declaration um, to, to help uh, shore up the, the state budget. And uh, I read the bill, it's all online, he posted the link to it, which one that's amazing that, that I'll be able to read the bill. I read the bill and I looked at it and there were no expiration dates on some of these tax increases. And uh, I sent him back a message and said, hey, there's, there's no expiration dates on here. You know, what, 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 why aren't there? And he, uh, he came back and, and responded and told me his side of the story. And he was from Santa Fe. And so the ability for me in Las Cruces to talk to a representative in Santa Fe who has no you know, le legitimate connection with me uh, is really amazing. And it's a testament to how these technologies are going to impact races in the future. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.